What is going on, party people? It is I, Fomencio, back at it once again with another video, and I... It, it, it's been difficult to find time to record, it's been difficult to to make time to talk about all of the press conferences, Ubisoft, Bethesda, Square Enix, and then Phenom Sage here uh, just came up with the brilliantest idea that he possibly could and just decided to talk about what's really important, and that is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, what's going on, Phenom Sage? How's it, how's it going? <laughs> what's going on? It's time to talk about arguably one of the hypest games games that's going to show up at E3 this year. One so. of the hypest games in existence right now. <laughs> I mean, let's yeah. get real. Like, if, if, as far as we know, that's coming up on the horizon. Right now, this E3 could make or break this game, which is pretty interesting. It is. Uh, you want to like allude more on that? Like you want to? Well, basically, we don't know a lot <laughs> about this <laughs> remake. Like how it's adapting things, what's going to go down, where it's going to end, what the model or structure of the story will be, since we know it's episodic. We don't know a lot about this game, and a lot of those details will either be really, really good when we find out, or they're going to make it a very disappointing experience. So that's what makes this so anticipated for E3. Yeah. I mean, as, like, after State of Play, like, where was your mindset, like, in terms of, like, where this game is going? Like, obviously, the game, it looks pretty good. Like, the game... Oh, it I, looks like, good. In comparison to previous times that we've seen it, like... The, like was it three years ago now uh that that was like and i didn't even think that that was bad then but like they definitely improved on some things i, I i'm not sure as far like i don't even know who's like it's in-house right this is like square enix like, oh yeah formal the, it wasn't in-house at first but then they scrapped it and yeah. were like no we have to do this are all like is the who's the director of the game is it is Kikase? it still no i thought it was is the, Wasn't the, it Nomura? I thought it was too. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. I think maybe he left the project. I don't know. I thought like Nomura left to work on Kingdom Hearts and then he finished King. I'm not. I, I don't know. Like Square Enix has been very like They've not very pretty, transparent. Like yeah. Well, not. I, I I'm sure somebody's gonna be like. Uh, actually, two years ago in a very s secret blog post, they announced the director was shifting to so and so so i'm sure this information is out there but like in general this has been a very weird weird production where like any details that we get about the game usually aren't from square enix themselves it's from other people reporting on it yeah other people or like weird leak stuff or just like like oddball rumors here and there it's it's like it's been rocky it's definitely one of the more rocky Final Fantasy productions from the top of my head like 15 obviously had its issues but like nothing was canceled like there's been drama oh no it was canceled a few times they they scrapped some projects on there oh when you start thinking about versus 13 and everything like that but when they really started pushing 15 like when it when it became 15 it was also like... I looked it up and Nomura is still apparently the director on the project okay okay Mix. Yeah, I never heard anything about him, like, leaving. I thought that maybe he'd left to work on Kingdom Hearts or something. I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, anyway, let's get let's get more into, like, detail regarding this game. I just... I'm gonna ask you the question now. Like, what... What does Square Enix have to do to impress you regarding Final Fantasy VII Remake? Uh... Honestly, like, it's not a very high bar right now. Like, I will be impressed just seeing the game translated faithfully. Like, that's all I really want. You can make you can make adjustments here and there. Obviously, there's going to be some changes. But, like, I just, like, to sell me on this game, I just want to see more. I want to see, like, I, I want to see the gold, gold saucer. I want to see the motorcycle sequence. Like, I just want to see cool parts of the original game translate like that's the entire point of this remake is yeah. you get to see that original game in a new light for the first time yeah and like for me what would what i want to see is like emotion i guess because like to me that's what i'm looking forward to the most is like having these scenes like amplified like mm, hearing like voice acting voice acting like cloud like having emotion and actually like being a more i think people will like cloud more in this game than in the original because like there's a lot of stuff that kind of gets lost in subtitles and like you you can't like 
people like make Cloud out to be a different character in their heads. I'm not, I'm not, and I don't blame them. Like that's that's how old Final like that's how games were back then. And I think that they could change some things. They could definitely like. I know for a fact that Square Enix wants to make this game appeal more to more than just like fans of Final Fantasy VII. Like I, I from Square Enix's track record from 15. I don't think that that's going to be, like, an initiative that just ends here. Like, this game is going to, like, they're going to try to market this game to people that have never played 7 before. And oh, I yeah. think the, a way to do that is make you care about these characters and, like, make you actually, like, root for Cloud in some way. Uh, or, like, at least show in, in the trailer you see him, like, maybe talking to Tifa at the bar. Like, something and like then, that, you know? Like, Unfortunately, the... the because they're going to be marketing it towards that new audience, that's why I don't think you're gonna get a blowout where you see like just all these pivotal moments from the game. Like they're, I think they're probably gonna keep most of them secret, just you know, for the novelty's sake. And that, yeah. I, I respect that, but I do want to see at least, at least a few. Th I don't even need to see like noteworthy scenes. I just want to see like some of these locations translated. Like I want to see what the overworld looks like. I want to see what we're... my favorite characters look like. Do you think we're leaving Midgar at E3? Oh, absolutely. Wait, you wait. You mean like in the trailer? Like in the trailer, we're like we're gonna see overworld, or we're gonna see like Nibelheim or whatever. Yes, I do think you will see. Um, I th I do think you will see some parts from outside Midgar because like. That's the biggest question right now. Like, they need to sell... They need to, like, really communicate how we're splitting up this game. Like, is it three parts? Is it two parts? Like, I need to know how you're handling this game to know, like, what to expect. Uh, because yeah. if it's two parts, then it's definitely out of Midgar. If it's three parts, it's still probably out of Midgar. Like, I... I they'd have to separate it into, like, five parts to not get out of Midgar in that first one. Unless they're, like... <clears throat> expanding on things and like midgar is true. like like 30 hours like, and like I, I i don't know i i'm okay with that but i just i don't like the idea of five parts to one yeah game. i don't like that's, that that's ridiculous well, like well okay but here's the thing uh man that that's like a entire different discussion there like <laughs> in terms of like does that work like final fantasy 7 is a huge sprawling epic journey and then i think about other games like you have like uh like the god of war games or the uncharted games where those games are spread out over multiple parts and like it works because those are uh well in god of war's case especially like that's one big story instead of uncharted but like it makes me think like would would it be unethical to do that if each part is like really substantial and had a lot of content i don't I, I don't think it's unethical like i think if you make a game like if it's a <clears> game <throat> i play it for 30 to 40 hours like a traditional final fantasy like i'm leveling up my characters and it feels like i'm playing a full game beginning to end then i'm okay with it if, yeah. And if it like if it's if it warrants that sixty dollar price tag, if it warrants like, you know, I, I'm okay with that. But I just I'm I don't know if everyone else will be. Like I don't know if people are gonna be into that. I, five parts. I don't is... think they would dare. I don't think they'd go that far. I, honestly, I think two parts makes the most sense for this game. I think so too. I think you you split it right down the middle and. I mean, who knows? It's it's it is a little bit strange that we have not seen anything outside of Midgar. Like it is a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit strange that we haven't seen well, key essential we might characters. Have. We might have though. There were some a few little quick cuts in that trailer that looked like they might have been in some other parts of the game. Uh, you were saying that like the Sephiroth thing might might have been. Yeah, like, that the, Sephiroth the... scene was looking a little Nibelheimy to me. I mean, hey, I, I, who knows? Like, that's that's another, like, I, I'm curious. How much do you think we're going to see of this game at Square Enix's press conference? Because we know they're showing Avengers. We know they're going to be talking about I think you're seeing that. a lot. You think it's like, I mean, I don't even know how long this is going to be. I'm saying but... at least, uh, man, I, I feel like I'm setting myself up for disappointment. <laughs> but, like, I feel like at <laughs> least 15 minutes worth, at least. I, that man, seems right to me. Like, I, there's I mean, so I much hope. to answer about this game. 
I, I really hope. Like, I, I think that... I could go for a freaking Final Fantasy 15 like, one hour, per, like, event for this game. Yeah. I, I, I want that. Give me Final Fantasy 7 Remake Uncovered. Like, I... I yeah. I, I don't even doubt <laughs> so that we, cool. we could get something like that a little before launch or something like that. I, I don't know, but, like... There's just, like, there's so many questions going. I think out of every game at E3, there's, like, this is the unknown factor. Like, this is the game where, like, it's it's kind of, like, sink or swim. I'm extremely excited, but I'm also, like, hesitant because I don't, you know, I don't want to set myself up for, for you know, disappointment or anything like that. And, and obviously, this is, like, I'm chill. Like, I don't, I'm not going to, like, cry if I don't see more than five minutes of the game. But yeah, it's definitely... It, it's a big one, and I, I think that I hope that Square Enix realizes this, and I hope that they. I mean, like, why have that state of play trailer end with "see more in June"? Like, why, why do that? Like, we're definitely going to see more than a, a two-minute trailer. Oh yeah, uh, at least five minutes. Yeah. Um. So you think we're seeing like Tifa? You think we're going to see Red Thirteen? You think that's that's going to happen? Uh, you're definitely seeing Tifa. I don't know about Red 13. Red 13 is like pretty, pretty integral, pretty, pretty like, uh, what's the word? Like that's an important character and that's like kind of an important plot point. So I don't know if you'll see him, but you'll definitely see Tifa. I really <laughs> want to see like Cloud in, like with Avalanche in that bar. Like I really want to see like more... Like, less of, like, bombing mission stuff and more of, like, hey, like, these are human characters. Like, you can care about these characters. And, like, I know that already, but, like, I want other people to know that. I want other people that aren't even Final Fantasy fans to be like, oh, shit. Like, this is this is cool. Like, they can actually, like, tell a story here. And I think, that, like, obviously, like, there's going to be big-time dialogue changes. And, like, like I don't think they're just going to be reading the subtitles. Like, the script for this game is going to be, I think, pretty different. I mean, obviously, they're telling the same story, but, like, there's lots of chances for them to make people, like, root for the characters more and, and, and I don't know, like, understand where they're coming from. I, I recently, I'm, I'm still playing through the original Final Fantasy VII, like, again, and, like, that bar scene's, like, really cool, and, like, you see, like, them as children or whatever, but it's, like, it's kind of trite. Like, feels a little, like, okay. Like, this kind of feels, like, a little, like, a little too anime I guess, but, like, it's something that you can expand upon and like i don't think it's just that specific scene like hopefully the whole game and i just want to see like a glimpse of like what that's like like what is like the story like like how we haven't seen like a traditional hey these are two characters talking so i don't know the big question right now for me other than like how is this structured how is this going to be released the big big question that we can predict a little bit on is when will it release yeah i mean we're getting i can tell you right now we will be getting that release date i think so too i think it's gonna be like you're gonna remember like that sound effect when remake popped up that i think it's gonna be yeah. the same thing with the release date like remake is gonna pop up and then another thing is gonna pop up. 2019, <laughs> November 2019. Oh my god. I mean, I can dream. I mean, like, but is it? That doesn't seem out of, out of the question. It doesn't. Me. I don't think it does either. That trailer they showed, it looked done. It looked completed. Yeah, dude, there was lip sync in both languages. Like that's that, exactly. And that's here's the like, thing like post-production like final touches kind of stuff right there like here's the thing you do not go from like last month when was that state of play that was may no that was uh the end of uh it's like early may i think that was like a month ago it was a month you don't ago, release yeah. you don't release a trailer for final fantasy 7 remake and then say Oh, stay tuned for even more in just one yeah, month you're... unless you're on your final push of the game yeah you're right you're right why would like that's what i'm saying like why would they what are they what are they setting up here like obviously there's going to be a release date without a doubt that is absolutely confirmed like there's no way you don't set this game up for and then like i can't imagine them having a trailer and just be like Psh, who knows when you'll see the game next like i, <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine yeah. like that vibe going going out of like square enix's press conference like that would be 
like stocks would start going down like that that's a big deal like you you can't do that uh, after like you know reeling along all of us gamers like waiting anxiously waiting for this game you can't like just tease us like that you have to like you got to respect your audience and I, I i think that square enix is gonna do it i really do i, I think that square enix is gonna i mean 2019 god that would be wild that it's would happening. be so wild. i can't imagine playing this game i i honestly can't god um okay let's let's talk a little more like uh, gameplay wise like what what do they have to show in the gameplay itself aside from like environments like what do you want to see like in terms of like combat or exploration like what 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 what, what kind of like what would I really get wanna, you going like i'm telling you dude i want a blowout i want just a complete overview like give me a rock star like this is the world of Final Fantasy VII Remake. And like you just go through everything. Like this is how you'll be traversing the world. You can you can mount a number of different vehicles. Like cars, chocobos, airships. Like I just want <laughs> I want something <laughs> like that where I like I can see like everything they're doing to translate the original game to this. Yeah. I, I want to see that too. Like I definitely I want to see like I just want to see like how we're playing the game like what are how do, how do we save the game what is what is like like materia gonna be like in this game uh what do other weapons look like like i just want to like i i mean obviously i think that that's too much to ask for there there's no way we're getting like a breakdown like someone on stage playing the game and these why are the menus not, yeah but exactly why not like can square is square enix having a direct or is it like on stage i still am not clear on that. i don't know I'm still. I'm. I don't know. They haven't said anything. I, I. They probably have. It's probably fine print somewhere. But like, it, comment down below to anyone who knows. Like, is Square Enix getting on stage? They took that Sony spot. Like 6 p.m. Like, I feel like if they were having like a little direct, it'd be a little more low key, and they'd probably pop it off at like 3 p.m. or something. But I don't really know. I. I. I'm. I. I would be very happy if we like see that stage like Nobuo Omatsu getting on stage like that would oh my god that would be like tears actually like tears would would be coming out of the ducks in my eyes for sure dude there's just so much I want to see <laughs> I want to see in this game all right let's let's get into some wild predictions okay so your first prediction is the game's coming out this year yeah November what I uh, November, or December. I don't know. I'm gonna One say of those I'm gonna say December twentieth. That's my guess. Okay, right in time for Christmas. Yeah. Oh baby. I'll, I'll get it for Christmas. Um, I also like, oh, man, Red Red Thirteen will show himself, but he's gonna look weird. Like he, people are gonna How be weird? like, like his face is gonna look weird. <laughs> like he's gonna have just. We've like seen a, him in Advent Children. They're just gonna copy that design. No, they're gonna do something weird. Tifa's gonna I wear don't pants. Think so. No, 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 no. Let's not go on this this prediction anymore. <laughs> okay, here's uh, a here's a wild prediction. Like in, in that bar, like what's that bar called? Like the Avalanche Bar that or whatever. Seventh Heaven, Seventh, something like that. Yeah, it's going to be like you're gonna see that neon sign. It's gonna be like super cool. The interior is gonna be really cool, and there's like a pinball machine that like goes down to like Avalanche headquarters or whatever. Mm -hmm. That pinball machine's gonna be Justice Monsters Six. That's my what, wild. What was that? The <laughs> the, the, the uh... weird pinball in fifteen. Oh okay. <laughs> or it, like I, I I think that'd be kind of interesting if they did something like that. Oh here's an interesting here's an interesting thought. What about um uh the possibility of including the uh, Crisis Core and like Dirge of Cerberus content in the game? <clears throat> Will they I... do it? I know Crisis Core is like that is a pretty I, I can't speak on the gameplay but I've heard like the story is like pretty cool and like there's there's some like pretty heavy and pretty like very interesting things happening in that story is Dirge of Cerberus good I've never even I don't seen that think game either of those games are good I know like Crisis I know Core I know sucks. Crisis like Core a... I know Crisis Core like everybody loves that story but I th I know both of them are like panned by critics, but like in terms of like story, like what is even going? Is that is Dirge of Cerberus after or before? I... That's the um the game on Vincent. Yeah, but like, Vincent. is it like Vincent before FF Seven or after? I don't know. <laughs> Probably before. I have to imagine. Yeah, I mean, like, I think that we're not we're not gonna get like 
parts of Crisis Core. Like, I don't think we're going to be playing as Zack. What if or... it's DLC, though? I can see it as, like, DLC. I mean, like, why are you making DLC when you have, like, three other parts of the game to release? Like, I mean, well, like, I mean for, like, after the game is done. Like, yeah, three, like all it, three parts. It'd literally be, like, Crisis Core remake. Yeah. That I mean, like, hey, that's kind of cool. I think that there's there's a lot to expand upon, though. Like, I think that they can include things that were in uh, Crisis Core, like cutscenes and things, like for like flashback sake, and like maybe like we you know that part where you like play as Cloud when he's in Soldier with Sephiroth and all that. You could go further back and and talk about Zack, and maybe Cloud had a, a connection there in some way. Like, you can. I'm okay with them like altering some things and and connecting those. Uh, a little more neatly and like having it feel more cohesive like that's okay and i i don't know like i feel like they already have so much on their plate and like is it nest do people care that much like i don't think anyone's gonna be like playing through that game like Psh! where's that crisis core stuff though come on come on square Enix. like i i don't know i think it's possible yeah um, I, I definitely want to see uh, some combat. I want to, the combat looks really cool. Like I really dig the the sort of. I, it feels like for some reason it feels like Final Fantasy VII combat. Like it almost like a, in a way like I'm getting FF7 vibes while still being like something new and something fresh. Like Kingdom Hearts or even a little bit of 15 thrown in there. Like, yeah, it's interesting. I, I think a lot of it has to do with the. Um just the vibe of that world like midgar is such such a distinct and like really fleshed out location so seeing it like up up and like in a new light like you still feel that vibe of like this is midgar like this is a world yeah do you think that that like if this is part one would it be titled part one or would it oh, have God, like no. a, it'd have like a no subtitle? it's gonna have a subtitle for sure it's gonna be final fantasy 7 remake chapter midgar uh possibly i could i could maybe see that but like i think they're probably gonna have like a cooler subtitle like clouds lament yeah but <laughs> like uh final fantasy 7 remake rise of sephiroth no that's I, th I think it will have like midgar in the title or something fall of midgar fall of midgar no but they don't fall in, yeah in not the first really part. <laughs> not really no uh, uh yeah i, I don't know <laughs> i have no idea um yeah I, I i think that's i mean obviously we can get into more detail but like in terms of like how this game's going to be shown off is it you think it's going to be on the show floor i don't they haven't oh, said absolutely i think not so too. even a question there's going to be a demo on the show floor i think so too like i think th i think Dude, they... i'm telling you this game is imminent like <laughs> it's happening like things are things are going to go down you're going to get a release date you're going to see a pub like a demo on the show floor and you might even see a public demo released online that's on that's PSN. i've i've heard that rumor i i've definitely have heard that like that's been kind of circulating for a little while now and also like like yeah it might come out this year there there could be that demo but i think there's going to be like a caveat to that like i think that like if if the game's coming out this year they're gonna like get heavy into pre-order bonuses <laughs> some weird oh, like yeah. some like special edition playstation 4 that like looks like a ps1 that has like cloud on it or something or... that's what i'm saying like <laughs> get into this like huge blowout i'll, I'll go for it give me yeah. like Spend like five minutes on pre-order bonuses. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, please. I just want something. Like, <coughs> give me the give, give me the, the <laughs> give me the clouds dress DLC outfit that I can wear. If you pre-order the game, you'll oh you'll get clouds advent children outfit. Oh, here here is an actual prediction. Now they say that cosmetics will be a thing. You think you that we're gonna be able to be... change your outfits on the fly whenever? Like. I, that's crazy like you think like you actually like have different outfits for cloud like cloud can oh, dress yeah. up yep i mean 15 it'll give you something to like it'll give you something to spend your money on too in the game yeah yeah you're probably right like I mean, why they, not why not go do that oh my god I, I here's my wild prediction you're gonna see cloud dressed up as a moogle 
Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Like he's gonna have like a Moogle head. Yes. <laughs> like his head his face is gonna be like visible, but like everything else around it's like all There's Moogle. so much potential. You can have <laughs> outfits for like all the different Final Fantasy games. Like I can dress up as Zidane as Cloud. Or like even like like Noctis. Like you can make Cloud into Noctis and like make I can, it look I can, like Yeah. That'd be pretty dope, actually. I would not hate That's that. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. Like, and what like, is the reason not to do that? Yeah, that'd give more incentive on if there if this is like an open world game. That'd definitely give incentive. Maybe there's like secret outfits scattered around or secret weapons or things like that. Because like, the there's thing really with not Final like Fantasy a 15 is that they didn't have. There were only like four outfits in that game, four or five outfits. But in this one, they have more potential for a lot more. They do, <laughs> and like the 15 outfits sucked. Like they were, yeah, there were two like good outfits in the like, entire game. It was literally like going to Gap and just buying like a white tee. Like that's not... yeah, it wasn't fun. They're, they weren't fun outfits. That's what that's what they need to do for this. They just need to make them really fun. I think that could be. I cool. want to dress up as a Moogle. I, I want to see that too. I want to see like and like that's the thing. Weapons too. Like weapons. I I love the weapon design in uh, FF7. I love how you have like this. Weird, and you're like, gonna see them all. Yeah, that's super cool and like seeing tifa with those cool like you can have like the claws and all that and barrett with like doesn't barrett have like a weird like blunderbust weapon it's like a big like yeah. circular that's so cool like i want to see more of that stuff i want to see like just quality of life like i want to see like life. i want to see a, do you think we're gonna see a menu someone's gonna like pop at that menu beep, 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 doo -doo, uh like, possibly i i hope to god they keep those sound effects you better don't I think change. so too. I, I, I. There's no reason to change them. Don't change them. Yeah. Will Here's we... my biggest. Go oh ahead. what? No, no, you're. I'll, I'll, I'll save mine for last because mine is kind of like a closing statement. Oh, I was just gonna say, will we see a box art? Uh, yeah, I, I think, think so. We will. If we're talking pre, I think my prediction is, if it's coming out this year, we're getting pre-order bonuses. We're getting into the the <laughs> nitty gritty. You will see the box art, and it's gonna be bad. <laughs> don't, stop, don't say that don't say that no, you know, no one thing i have uh like really grown to appreciate is um the final fantasy 15 box are a little bit more than i used to i like oh, it not, no 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 not the well it's the, both of them are fine the one i'm talking about is where they're like walking on the road that, that yeah one I, I, I dig that box art i do it's in, it looks like an end game box art, which is pretty interesting. I don't think that's ever been done in Final Fantasy, where you like see like in game looking models like on the box art. Um, uh, yeah, no, oh yeah, yeah, that is a no way. Final 13. Fantasy Thirteen did that. Yeah, you see like and that was a horrible box that's art too. Such a boring box. Art. Please God, don't do that. I rather One see out of like 10 box art. you put Midgar on the box art. Like you have to put Midgar on the box art in some way. I hope. I, I hope should it's like back here with Cloud yeah. and Sephiroth. I dig, I dig that a lot. I think that that could be a box art. I think that, although like Cloud doesn't really look like that anymore. He's so much more bright and like more vibrant. Well, yeah, I'm just saying like that that like com composition like that. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Way that's structured, I think could work. I could see. But that. at the same time, it, again, it depends on how far we're going into this game. Like, are we showing Tifa on this box art? Are we showing Eris? Like, wh what's going on? Are we seeing Sid? <clears throat> I mean, who knows? Yeah. Who no knows? way, Sid. No, that's no way. No, I don't think we're, Sid will not appear at E3. Nope. that's gonna be like saved for the game itself. Vincent, Yuffie, nope. Vincent will but get a will tease. They? Vincent will but get a will tease. They? You'll I see... feel like they might. I feel You'll like they see... might just do a blowout on every single cast member. That would be fuck. That would... oh my god, dude. I would I would die, man. Like they're that... gonna play that Final Fantasy theme in the background and then have like this montage with their names over like their cutscenes like showing every single one and it's going da -na 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 -na. and you see like cloud strife and tifa lockhart vincent and stuff. you see vincent getting out of his coffin like he like rises <laughs> out <laughs> i would lose my mind man that would be incredible yeah I dude love it's happening it's happening. Get the I want to hear some remixes of those tracks too in the in this blowout. I want to hear that boss theme reorchestrated. Yeah, man. I want to see Give me that I, guitar. I want to hear a lot of OST. Like we haven't heard any of the OG tracks except like the main FF7 theme. Like we haven't heard I like know. anything. We haven't even heard the battle theme. Like that's crazy. Why haven't we? All right. Dude, um, okay. Here's this isn't 
even like attached to part one, but just imagine the glorious, cause like obviously they can't recreate turn-based battles. So what if they turn those boss fights into like sequences? Like what if the Sephiroth ba boss battle, final boss battle is just this huge sequence where like, I don't even know how that would work. Where like you're flying around space and stuff. That would be incredible, man. I like summoning planets at you and that, that'd be so cool. That would be awesome because like, I mean, 15 kind of did that. Like the bigger, larger than life bosses, like there were like set pieces. Yeah. Sort of. I, I think they, a there's, few. they, they, could, they could have made more and they could have like made them a little better. But like, I have to imagine like the weapons, like you can't just be fighting this Godzilla sized monster just like standing up. He's just standing up in the desert. Like, yeah, there's to be something going on there. Like, that'd just be goofy. So, yeah, I, 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 I they could definitely do something do that. like that. I think so. Definitely for like Genova and all that. Like, Genova's huge. Like, Genova towers our characters. The, Genova's like at least 20 feet tall more yeah. than that so yeah they, they gotta do something like imagine Genova like you're fighting her or whatever like in like uh well we were talking about this like even with like the Midgar like elevator sequence where you're like you're you're like fighting Rufus in the helicopter like I imagine like you Barrett, can do stuff with that I imagine Barrett grabbing Cloud and like throwing him to the helicopter that's like, so cool. Like throwing Please. him, he's got his buster sword, he like pulls it out and he like slices the helicopter or something. Like, oh my god, dude. Like they can But see that's the thing, like there's so much that they're going to have to change for this new battle system. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't even know how that fight exists, to be honest. It's probably yeah. gonna be like a rooftop battle. Like you won't even be Probably. In... Man, that sounds so lame though. You have such <laughs> a cool idea for an elevator sequence and you don't use it. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh man, they'll they'll find a way. I I have honestly after state of play, I have I got some trust. That, oh, I that, trust you. That earned that earned. I have high hopes. I do too. And we're both gonna be let down at E3, and it's gonna be yeah. a blast. Yep. Yeah. Twenty twenty fall release date. Well, exclusive on PS5. Exclusive no, it's, on it, PS5. it it will come out. On, it's definitely coming out somewhat soon. It's going to be on. If PS3. it's on they, PS4, then it has to come out this year. It makes no sense for it to come out next year. It may be spring. No, no, because PS5 is going to be, like, announced in spring. Yeah, they're going to have a keynote probably in, like, March. Maybe yeah, February. I don't, yeah, it's this year, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. We All are right. going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake this year. That's draft a tweet. Get the tattoo. Get that Final Fantasy VII <laughs> Remake coming December 20th, 2019 tattooed on your forearm. It's going to happen. <laughs> uh, did you have anything else to say regarding this game? You said you you, said you wanted to save something for last, or did you already mention that? Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I was trying to think of it, but it was like... I was like... I that's, can't remember. That's that's the power of having a, a free form discussion and no yeah, script that's and okay. no, and no yeah. That's okay. Anyway, uh, I think that's. I mean, I, there's still like, I'm sure I'm gonna like think of something as soon as I end this video. Like, oh crap, I should have mentioned that. But you know, whatever. Uh, I think that this game's gonna be really, really awesome. I think it's gonna be definitely one of the bigger games. Shown oh, at oh, I remember what I was gonna say. What's up? In general, like, last final hope that I wish for this game, it kind of ties back to what you were talking about, is I just want to see, and this isn't even something I think they can, like, demonstrate well, it's just something that will have to be there in the final game, is that I just want the voice acting and the writing to really elevate those story beats that, like, I, we talked about this before, like, some parts in Final Fantasy VII, like, the dialogue gets a little bit dry, like, it... That's not it. everybody's written as well as they could be. Yeah. And I feel like this remake has the chance to fix that with the voice acting and the music and like you're turning every scene basically into something more important than it used to be. Yeah. Like Barrett to me is kind of like annoying in the beginning of the game. Like he's like yeah. very preachy and like like oh we got to save the planet blah 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 blah. And like I want I want that to be more like more realistic i guess like remember the scene where you're on the train like after the bombing you're like you take that train or whatever and she like shows you the map and all that stuff and you like talk oh, to i Garrett. love that scene yeah. and like i want to see that scene i want to see like i want to see like banter like them like kind of arguing like cloud and bear i want cloud and bear to clash and like not like well each other it looks the like they're place. making him like as over the top and and fun as he should be based on like all the one-liners that he has in those trailers I, I agree and that's fine but like 
make him still like be able to like tone that down when he's sitting down after a mission and yeah he's, like, balance it out yeah balance that out with with like good dialogue and good voice acting just like cloud and barrett going at it at the bar like they're getting a big argument at that bar and like i want to see that i want to see that done i want to see like oh my god i can't Give wait. some dramatic stakes to that scene like i want i want it to get serious yeah like i want like i want cloud to knock down a i chair. want i want <laughs> i want to like actually see like Cloud's like, give me my money or I'm not doing this. And he's like, but this was the money I was going to use to send Marlene to school. Like, I want I want some drama, like, really. really I want to see, like, Cloud's facial reaction to him saying that. Like, him, like, having this kind of, like, maybe some guilt there. Or maybe, like, he feels, like, some, like, remorse. You know what I mean? Like, actually, like, reacting to these kinds of things. Like, that's, that is what the remake is all about. Like, honestly, like, combat second, like, world second. I just want to see this story more fleshed out than it's ever been before like that's my yeah. my dream for this game. and like so many people will be able to experience it for the first time and just really become as engrossed as in it as we were the first time we played yeah and uh even more than that even more than those those sequences that we talked about like you've heard my complaints like later on in the game you get the ability to switch out party members with whoever you want and the problem is they can't write dialogue for all those characters, so you end up just having a bunch of mindless puppets following you around. That's something you can fix in the final game in this remake. Like you can you can give all those characters dialogue now. Like they're yeah. voice acted. Like we have more purpose to our characters than we did before. Yeah. And that's something I really hope to see in the remake as well. Yeah. I think I it's gonna happen. We're gonna see it. E three. E3 hype, baby. E3 When's hype. Enix? Uh, that is on Monday. That's like, Nintendo's on Tuesday. That's the last one. It's Monday night, 6 p.m. Ooh, prime time. Prime Let's time. go. Uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much all we have to say regarding Final Fantasy VII Remake. I promised myself I wouldn't let this video go over half an hour, and it's almost 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, make sure to comment down below and give us your wants, desires, concerns, anything final fantasy 7 remake uh down in the comments below let's talk about this game let's get the discussion going uh throw some wild predictions i think that, that this game is going to be really really fun to see i think are we going to get cloud dressed up as a girl are we going to see that at e3 like can that happen that'd be uh, wild that'd be that'd be really cool if we did but that'd, that'd i don't be know pretty funny like maybe like at a, a tease at the end he's like do i have to wear this dress like with some stupid oh like man that. so good <laughs> i could totally see that too it's like just like that one last scene at the end of the trailer. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, me and Phenom Sage, by the way, will be reacting to the Square Enix press conference along with all of the other, or not, we doing PC gaming show? No. No, no, no. We're no. not doing that. Uh, we're not doing EA either. I think I heard that Phenom Sage is bowing out at Bethesda as well. That's the word on the street. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll react to those with you. I just don't want to talk about predictions. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, we're going to be reacting to all of them, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to join the party and, and uh, be a part of uh, all the hype that is E3. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, discussions. Uh, we're going to be talking about Nintendo next, so uh, look forward to that. going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Thank you guys again very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later. Or we'll see you. We'll, you get the idea. <laughs>